I've been teaching and learning Excel for 25 years, and I'm still learning. This hack, this is brilliant. Have you ever had a date come in like this? Because it's been entered in US format, or I guess if you're in the US, the other way around, it's been entered in like a European or everywhere else in the world format. Um, so this should have been the 13th of January, okay, January 13th. This was January 10th, but as soon as you open it up, it just stuffs it up, okay? Did you know there's like a four-click fix for this? It's just amazing, and it doesn't involve Power Query. I'll actually show you the Power Query solution as well. But this is just amazing. Right, let's go. This solution was shown to me by David Benaim, another MVP. I'll put a link to David's YouTube channel uh, in the links below. Go check out his stuff. Lots of good comparisons with Google Sheets and flagging new features and other things like this. Okay, but we were at the MVP conference uh, over in Seattle and he just said, hey, have you seen this? This is just brilliant. So how do you fix this? Well, check this out. You just highlight these, you go to data and then over to text to columns, click on that. You just go straight to next. If tab or anything like that is ticked, often tab is ticked, untick it, go next. And here comes the magic bit. It's date and the format it came in was month, day, year. So that's the format it should be, okay, month, day, year. And I click finish. It's done. Look, 10th of Jan, 13th of Jan, 10th of Feb, 13th of Feb. It fixes it. I did not know that was a thing. 25 years of using Excel, all right? That's just awesome. Um, the Power Query solution, if you want to do this on big data sets or refreshing regularly and stuff like that, and you don't want to do those clicks every time, check this out. So if I go from text CSV, this is coming from a CSV file. I'll just double click on this one. Okay, power, I knew this Power Query one years ago, one of my first ever YouTube videos, in fact. Um, go to transform. Okay, so this column, click on the ABC. Don't go date, go using locale, all right? And you basically tell it it's US format or the other way around if you're obviously in the US and you're getting data from elsewhere around the world. Okay, so you go here to date and it's under English United States as the source. So I'm just gonna scroll down the English list a big list of English. There we go, English United States. So that's what the source file was. It was in that format. And then I just click OK. Again, 10th of Jan, 12th of Jan, 13th of Jan, and so on. Right, all good. I can go close and load two. And the beauty of this approach is this one click refresh. So load it to a table in a new worksheet, for example. Okay, so whenever I save over the top of that CSV file, I can just click this big refresh button or right click refresh and it'll bring all the latest data in. Awesome. Let me know, did you know that little hack? I'm sure lots of people do, but I just never heard of it. So yeah, thank you, David, for showing me that one. Catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.